Hey everyone, today we're going to look at the EV3 gyro sensor and look at how to solve the dreaded gyro drift problem. So in order to understand how we fix the gyro drift problem, we've got to understand what the gyro does. This sensor for the EV3 is not an actual gyroscope, okay? A gyroscope has uh, an actual wheel or some, uh, some bearings that are actually moving inside, but this is actually an accelerometer. What an accelerometer does is it detects changes in speed. So when you switch on your gyroscope, let's have a look at this. Let's have a closer look at this. So I'm going to zoom in. All right. You're going to see here uh, the, the screen for EV3, okay? So in order to check my gyro sensor reading, I go to the side to port view, click on it, and then you'll see uh, down the bottom right, because I, I'm connected to port number four, you'll see that it is working properly, all right? So I do a small, chain, a small tilt to the left. It is going to a negative reading going to the right it goes a positive reading so that is how a gyroscope should work but what is gyro drift sometimes uh if you attach a gyro to your robot and run the program it will go haywire it will go it will go very unpredictably it will go really erratically and the reason is because the gyro is constantly changing its reading even though the robot is staying still, okay? And this is caused when you turn on the robot and the robot was in motion, okay? When you turn on the robot and it was in motion, that causes gyro drift. So I'm going to induce uh, a gyro drift on this robot and show you what it's like. Now I'm going to turn it on again, but this time I'm going to be shaking my robot around while it's turning on. Okay, so I switched it on. Now let's have a look at the port view again. You see that? So the gyro reading is moving up, even though I'm keeping relatively still with the robot. It looks like it, it thinks that I've rotated 360 degrees or more which is obviously not the case, right? My robot is just facing the same direction. So remember, the gyroscope detects change in angle. So when I was starting the robot and I was moving, it thinks that that motion is when it is staying still, which means that when we do put it still, it's changing its reading because it thinks, it thinks it's in motion. So there are two ways to fix this. Uh, the first way to fix it is with a hardware fix. This is where we unplug the cable and then plug it in very carefully and make sure that the robot is not moving. So let's have a look at that. So first of all, you see the gyro is, uh, is drifting. It's not working properly. So we're going to keep the robot as still as possible. Unplug. And plug it in again. You can see that it is still drifting. And the reason is because no matter how hard I try to keep this robot still, uh, just by plugging the cable in can cause the slightest movement that will disturb the gyro sensor and make it think it was staying still when in fact it was just being plugged in. Okay? Another fix would be you turn off the robot and then on again, and just keep it really, really still on a table. But that is a very long process. You've seen that turning it off and on uh, it takes like a couple of minutes. And if you're in a competition, it's not going to work very well. So now I'm going to show you the easiest, most efficient, most awesome way that's going to solve your problem 100% of the time. And make sure that if this solves the problem for you, you like and subscribe to my channel, okay? So now I'm going to show you the EV3 solution. Okay, so this is EV3. As you can see, 
um, down the bottom right in our port view here, we can see the gyro is drifting. So this is the same, same robot that we had just from before. Gyro is drifting. Uh, and you've tried unplugging and plugging it in again, and it's not working. So here, we try to trick our robot into thinking that it's got a different sensor in place of the gyro. And in particular, we trick it to think it is um, a uh, infrared sensor. So we set the infrared sensor to measure a beacon at port four, which is where our gyro is attached. Then we wait for a split second. To remeasure our gyroscope, but instead of measuring the angle, we're going to measure the rate. Why am I doing that? So I'm measuring the rate to make sure that we are at zero because at zero, it's completely still. And then I'm going to complete this continuously until I find that my gyro sensor's rate is equal to zero. And then after that, we will reset the gyroscope. All right. You see how this is changing still? Let's run the code and have a look at what happens. All done. See? No gyro drift at all. You can even see in the port view, gyro is not drifting anymore. It's moving properly, tracking my movements. I guarantee you, if you go into competition, you put this code in front of all your programs, it's going to 100% solve your gyro issues. So like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I really enjoyed making this. I hope this makes your life easier. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.